Hello everyone, welcome to the Seattle I Love. I'm Danielle. I'm Krista. I'm Chelsea. Yay! Yay, welcome Chelsea. We are continuing our Coffee March Madness and Chelsea is going to help us decide today's victor. Yay! You have to have a third to break the tie in case Danielle and I argue. Yeah. <laughs> We're here in Columbia City today at Empire Coffee. Um, this place is highly regarded. Uh, they're considered perfectionists. And um, we were told that we had to, had to, had to have it in the bracket. So it's in the bracket. Uh, we're going to go in. We're, gonna, we're still in latte round. This is our last matchup of the latte bracket. Or the latte round of the bracket. And yeah, they will be up against today El Diablo Coffee in Queen mm. Anne, Upper Queen Anne. So let's go in, have some lattes, be a little judgy, and <laughs> continue <laughs> <do> on. <laughs> All right, so we got our lattes. We have a cashew latte, cashew milk latte for Chelsea. We got a whole milk latte for myself. And we have another cashew latte, cashew milk latte the for cashew Krista. The cashew milk is uh, sweetened a little bit with dates and has a little vanilla flavor. And I tried just a sample of the milk and it's really good. So it's I'm also, excited to try it with coffee. It's also a house made, right? Okay, y'all want to give us it? What do you think, Krista? It's really good. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm still only through the phone. Initial sipping thoughts? I can taste the dairy. I've had a couple of But you of like that, right? I do, I like that. And with the latte, I mean, come on. Well, it seems like whole milk, you should be able to yeah. taste the dairy, yeah. The espresso is good. The espresso is very good. Mm. Um, so a little more than halfway through, I feel like I could just like drink this down really fast. It's not bitter at all. It's not it's not overly strong. Um, it's really just like sweet and delicious. It's kind of like a dessert. I mean, it, it's tough because it has more sugar than the other lattes that we've had. Um, so it's kind of in its own in its own um, category a little bit. Um, but that's okay. I mean, it's it's their house made milk, and I'm digging it. Yeah. It's quite delicious. I think chug is the word that you used. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but, then, but then I, could, I can't chug it because I have to savor it. So, yeah, so like, I feel like I could just like, this is a, this but is that would be a waste. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think of the ambience? Um, but at the same time, I think for just like, if I was coming over and I have a really bad patio, that might be good. But given the fact that I know, it's a lot of things. Yeah, it's like a small neighborhood place. Um, it looks like there's, there's a back patio. Yeah, there's a back patio with a garage door that opens that could be really pleasant. Um, the bench oh. on this side is very tall, mm -hmm. which means that my toes just barely touch like the legs of the table, which is mm -hmm. difficult. This is the thing that I struggle with in life yeah. <laughs> in general. It's not a short um, people bench. Yeah. <laughs> um, but all of the wood aspects of the are like really just beautiful. Yeah, very beautiful. The table yeah. in addition to the yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right, um, I'm also done about halfway. Um, I'm losing the espresso. What? What's it? I'm losing the espresso. Oh, you're losing the espresso. Um, 
it's like uh, I taste the dairy a lot. Okay. But the espresso was a little bit more stronger at the beginning. Okay. Right now I feel like I'm drinking like a a really rich caffeinated milk. Mm -hmm. Co coffee flavored milk. <laughs> yeah, which isn't bad, but as I've said in the past, I'm very espresso forward loving. Mm -hmm. Not bitterness, but like that espresso forward. Mm -hmm. And um, no, it's really good. Like, I love it. I'm just drinking it like it's water. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a testament. But I, I am feeling like I'm missing the, um, the espresso a little bit during the second half of the cup. I like the ambiance. I, I like small neighborhood coffee shops like this, mm -hmm. uh, where it feels like I can just grab a seat and hunker down. And like I feel like if I got a cup of coffee, I could like sit here for a while. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy you're happy. <laughs> All right, we're finishing up here at Empire. Um, Y'all final thoughts before we move on? Um, just that I think I agree with you that it's not very espresso forward like it's it's more milky and creamy and the coffee is a little bit um, of a back seat but that being said I very much enjoyed it and drank it down very quickly and would totally come and have it again yeah this will sound very boring but I agree <laughs> with all of that very much <laughs> um, yeah I've never really thought of the term espresso forward before but you're, you're right it's like it's more yeah it's more of a like milk forward mm -hmm. which makes sense if they, they make their own cashew milk mm -hmm. yeah. which is one thing it's really um, good so yeah i'd definitely come back yeah i'd come back too uh, one thing i would add on is like as far as ambiance goes is that the way that the seating is set up sitting like not with my back to the wall i started feeling really claustrophobic. Well, it's a maybe, small mm -hmm. space. It is a claustrophobic yeah. space in some ways. Maybe if we had been in one of the tables that didn't, like, wasn't so close to mm -hmm. where they're making everything, we would have... Or on the patio. Yes, patio would be yeah. really nice. It's just Good a little chilly today, so yep. we didn't sit outside. Yep. But we'll that being said, though, I bet you, like, the places that aren't right next to the counter are the first places to go. Mm. That's they do have a, do a table. They have one big table that can sit like four to six people. Mm -hmm. Maybe not comfortably, but. <laughs> All right. So off to Queen Anne? Yeah. Yay. More coffee. Yay. More coffee. All right. So here we are. We're, we've made it the long schlep from Columbia, <laughs> Columbia City, City to, Queen Anne. to, uh, to Upper <laughs> Queen Anne. It was pretty one. far. <laughs> we are here at El Diablo Coffee Company. And we're going to continue our bowden here. I love this place. Uh, they're uh, Cuban themed. Uh, so they do have the, uh, it's one of the few places in Seattle where you get a good cafe cubano, some great empanadas. But we're here for the coffee. We're here for the lattes I, in particular. I'm ready for more coffee. I mean, I can definitely feel the buzz from that first cup, but it's not, it wasn't as intense. And so I feel like I can handle more. Yeah. So are y'all ready? Yeah. All right, we have our, <laughs> hi, <laughs> we're having a lot of fun today. Yay. So uh, we have an almond milk latte yes. here for the Chelsea McChelsea. Yes. And we have another almond milk latte yes. for the Krista McChrista. Yes. And as per my norm, a whole milk latte for the Danielle McDanielle. <laughs> Would y'all? Oh self -serve yeah. Self-serve water. Self-serve water. Which is a win. Um, Krista, would you like to give a sip? Yes, I would. It's really good. 
This is gonna be hard. <laughs> well, instant it's really not, good. It's not too much of a punch. It's you, it, the the coffee is really there, um, but the the it's a smooth coffee, um, mm -hmm. and it's balanced by the almond milk. Yeah, I think some of the ones I've had, it's been like my first sip is like, whoa, it's bitter. And this is, I mean, it, there's really, there's a strong coffee flavor, um, but it's an, it's smooth enough that I enjoy it and I, I want to take that next sip. Chelsea? <laughs> Much more, uh, to use the term that I used today, espresso forward, <laughs> not used today, learned today. Yes. I need to start hashtagging espresso forward. Uh, did, I, that, I mean, that term must have be out there in the ether somewhere, but I feel like it's something that People we've, we've sort of, yeah, yeah. I, th I feel like it's something that we've sort of um, come to, like it's a term that we've come to as we're trying to describe coffee in our in our little videos. Mm -hmm. um, because there, you know, there is such a, with lattes especially, there's that balance between the creaminess of the milk and the, the punch of the espresso. Nice. Um, yeah. Do you want to try yours? I do. First off, I have to say this looks like a gorgeous cup of coffee. Um, the foam looks immaculate. Yeah, so I still taste that, the milk at the beginning, which is amazing. Uh, but the espresso is definitely there. I definitely feel the coffee. I definitely feel the caffeine. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm a little cautious to be overly optimistic because uh, it's really good. And I've had their lattes here before, but I'm, I, I'm, I don't know, I'm a little afraid that the, that the espresso coffee flavor is gonna disappear halfway through, so. I'll check back in soon. Okay, okay. I'm not getting any hopes up. It's mm. good. All right, we're about halfway through our lattes. I'm still thoroughly enjoying this. Um, it's a really, really nice cup of coffee. We're sitting in the sunshine. It's sunny in Seattle in March, and that makes me really happy. And we're sitting outside. It's like, this is like the first day of the year that I am comfortably sitting outside. Oh, this is that's like, a good point. Mark it on no the calendar. Sleeves. Like, it's well, they're very short. So, <laughs> like, and I'm only like halfway in the sun. Mm. Yes, like half the scarf. But it's like short sleeve, <laughs> yeah. maybe with the scarf. And like comfortable, right? right? Not like, ooh, I'm gonna get cold in 30 seconds. Oh, <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm actually a tiny bit sweaty right now, <laughs> which is not uncommon. So, <laughs> it's in the low 60s right now yeah. as a reference. Yeah, so very comfortable, and um, and the coffee is just. Yeah, tell us it's a little bit really, more about your halfway through know how coffee much, feeling. I don't know much more to say about it other than it's just a really, really nice balance. It's a really nice cup of coffee. Um, yeah, it's not too milky. It's not too much coffee. The, the almond, this is this is what I would want an almond milk latte to taste like. The coffee is smooth, strong, but not bitter, not overpowering, not like a punch in the mouth. Um, so, okay. Nice. Any other thoughts, Chelsea? Hmm. Still much the same way. Wondering if I can elaborate at all. I feel like I have a day where I have a lot to get done and I'm feeling kind of tired and I wanted a cup of coffee to like really start the day in a good but easy and friendly way. This is what mm -hmm. I would prefer to drink. That's how it feels. Like I'm halfway through a little bit more so you're right it still feels like i'm drinking coffee mm -hmm. but it's not like ugh, coffee it's like ah, coffee all right so we've finished up at el diablo we've had our coffee we've had our conversation we've done some deliberating mm -hmm. um final thoughts on el diablo before we vote or final thoughts in between the two before we vote Yes, so um, I really enjoyed the house-made milk at Empire. Um, it was sweet, and um, the other none of the other coffee shops that we've been to have done something that unique. 
Um, so I really enjoyed that aspect. It, it also it has a really nice neighborhood feel. Um, they have great food options, they have great baristas. So I really enjoyed Empire. I also really enjoyed El Diablo. Um, I love the ambiance. It feels light and welcoming and like the kind of place that I'd want to hang out for a while. They have a lot of great outdoor space, but indoor space as well. They have food options. Um, the coffee is really, really good. Um, so both places are highly recommended. Highly recommended on my list. Okay. Chelsea? I feel like we're having mind melts. Like <laughs> really? very intense. Like all the words you were using, I was like, yep, yep, that's, yep, Sorry. that's it. <laughs> I've left you with nothing um, to say. Strictly coffee wise, I felt like the uh, latte with the cashew milk at Empire um, was really delicious. Uh, like we talked about before, it wasn't as espresso forward. So when I was drinking it, when I thought about it a little bit more later, I thought, like, oh, this is this is like a treat that I would like to have every once in a while. Um, if I wanted like a coffee and something to give me some caffeine and make me feel a little more awake and still be smooth and delicious, I would go. I would for that circumstance, I would prefer the latte here at El Diablo. It was really wonderful. They're We're gonna vote, Krista. So I have to go first? You have to go first this time. Oh no, okay. Who's gonna go second? Chelsea. I'll go anywhere. I, you're, I know gonna, my vote. you're gonna be the final. Okay. Um, I think for all of the reasons that we have stated, I really like both places, but I am going to vote for El Diablo because it was the it was a really good cup of coffee. Like like we said, like if you want it, if you want to have a really good cup of coffee, that's where you go. If you want to have a really good drink, then I would go to Empire. But they don't showcase their espresso as well with their drinks. Um, whereas here, the the espresso is really well showcased and really wonderful. Chelsea, it's more mind meld here. I <laughs> same. <laughs> um, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I am also for El Diablo. Um, also, just in general, I've never been here before, but it's... Oh, you haven't? No. Oh, cool. I just, okay. It's had a really lovely time. It's so nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I mean, the sunny day probably yeah, helps sunny with day our experience. Helps, but, um, yeah, both places were, were really nice, and I did, like, that cashew milk at Empire is just delicious. I mean, yeah, agreed. Um, the cashew milk is amazing. Like, um, highly recommend. Yeah. So, yeah, nothing wanna, against that. Do you want a like, couple of coffee though a real cup of joe with some almond milk or delicious milk or latte yeah any, yeah delicious um, latte that come here i'm gonna vote um i'm gonna vote for el diablo myself uh clean I would have been sweet shocked if you had it <laughs> I, I i really liked empire's coffee i don't want to slight it yeah. it's like honestly this is for myself uh it's probably the closest okay one in the bracket okay. as far that we've had for my, for me yeah uh but that being said i love their coffee the espresso was great very smooth uh the the drink was just well made uh so clean sweep for el diablo today Yay! so we get to come back and and what will el diablo be up against next time? so starting next week we go into our semi-finals uh we will have vivace versus bedlam, bedlam. Uh, this is the mocha round we have okay. Vivace versus Bedlam, and we will have Cherry Street Coffee versus El Diablo Coffee. Right. So, so it'll be interesting because I think those those four you you like all of those. It'll be interesting what we what we pick. Yeah, it'll be interesting. So, uh, see y'all next week. Uh, stay tuned to our Twitter and our Instagram uh, for updates and when things were being posted. Of course, like us and subscribe to us on here on YouTube. That's pretty and cool. yeah. So from the Seattle Light of Love, signing out. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for enjoying this video. Please feel free to join us on one of our many other adventures.